It was another <laughs> Sabbath day. <laughs> and here they come again. Bring it. And Jesus is in the temple. Go with it, Jesus. Follow. He's in the church. Yes. And the word says that he was doing what? He was teaching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. In, somebody say in. 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 The church. In the church. church. Another, Another Sabbath day. Another Sabbath day. And the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and these were the people who dealt with the legalism. Go with it. Things of church. That's right. You know, the scribes, they dealt with the, the, um, the shoe bread and, and the things of that, and the wine. And the, um, the Pharisees, they were the people that dealt with the things of the altar, like the incense and, and all of that stuff. And so they were more concerned about the law being broken. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So much to the point that they looked over a man, watch this, sitting in the church. Go with it. Go with it. Jesus. Yeah. And his right hand begin to win. Go with it. Come and help me, young man. <laughs> He's sitting in the church. Uh-oh. Uh Hold your right hand up. That's his right hand. Mm -hmm. And now his right hand. What can I ask you? What hand are you? Oh, God, that's even better. Because <laughs> he needs his right hand, right? <laughs> now, to understand the veracity of the text, you must understand the intensity of the right hand. Because the Jews said that the right hand symbolizes authority, yeah. power, and strength. Yeah. Oh, hey. So here's a man that's in church. Mm. Somebody say in church. In, in church. church. <laughs> and his right hand begin to wither. To wither. Mm. 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 Now, church. if you look it up, you understand to wither means that this did not happen like all abruptly. You know, it just wasn't all at one time. Go ahead. Exactly. That his hand began to wither over a process uh -huh. of time. To wither means to fade. Uh -huh. This happened over time. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have a problem. <laughs> <coughs> I ain't got a problem. Because you know how some of y'all women can be. Brit is cruel. He hates on that man with that hand. I ain't got a problem with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> but Pastor Sproul, what I do have a problem with is when his hand begin to wither. Uh -huh. wow. Pastor Allen, he said he was in the church. Wow. That's right. He man. was in the church. Go with And watch who's in the house. Mm. Jesus, Jesus is preaching. And the scribes in the first, okay, y'all don't know who that is. Let me talk to you. the prophets, mm -hmm. the apostles, Go with it. the bishops, the master prophets, the bishops to the fifth power, <laughs> the apostles over everybody. Go They're with all it. in the church. Go ahead, bring it. Everybody got on vestments. Go with it. Okay. They got on chains. They got big rings on. Sticks around, I got no help up in here. And they're in the church. Go with it. All this power of God in the church. And I'm still from Boston and this guy right now. I wish I was somewhere else. If I was in Jersey, you're telling me, you telling me all this power and anointing in the house. All these prophets in the building. That's right. We know how to put all the people in the right order. Uh -oh. right. We know the right colors to wear. Ain't got no help up in here. Right. We got the right color purple shirts on. <laughs> Bring it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good. Depending on who you under, Bring. Uh -huh. lets me know whether or not that you can sit on the first or the oh, second row. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on what organization you come out of, Bring. Uh -huh. lets me know if you qualify the sign these documents. Mm. But you don't know this power in the house of God. But yet you still got folk in the house 
that's still sick and broken. Woo! You got folk in the house that's still broke and hungry. Come on here. The man is sitting in church. He in church. In the middle of praise and worship. Woo! If we get back to the place where we start getting people with the Holy Ghost singing on the microphone, you can get somebody to them. Yeah. Man. I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen in the word where somebody got saved off of preaching. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Preaching educates you. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Let me let you get you some word. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. If I hide the word, I know something that can uh, remind me. He says that the Holy Ghost will never remind you of these things. So it's the word. So I'm here preaching tonight to tell somebody that when you die, go to hell. You know why you're there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talking good. Go ahead. Bring it. Bring it. If you sing in the right song. He says, I can get my breakthrough. Yes. Yeah, because see, it's something about good praise and worship. Yes. Ain't got no help. Yes. Because see, when praises go up, blessings come down. And if somebody lied to you and told you that you get your real breakthrough through praise, but you get your real breakthrough through worship. Ain't got no help up in here. The fact of the matter is, God can't move until you shut up. <laughs> so I can do some stuff that you ain't even asked me for yet. That's why the word said eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither haven't entered into the hearts of man. Do I got any kind of help in this place? I feel pretty good, y'all. But I'm sitting here now. I look at this man. He's sitting in the church. You got folk all around. And they're preaching and praising. They're shouting and spitting. But God He said that he lost his right hand. He don't lost his power. He don't lost his strength. And he don't lost his authority. And it all happened right in the church. Somebody say yes. And when I begin to look at this thing, I says, well, God, this is a messed up situation. He says, well, it went a little further, Pastor. When you look at the right hand, in order to have fellowship, Corinthians said to have fellowship, to get the right hand of fellowship. Now he is a man sitting in the church. He don't lost his strength. He lost his power. He lost his authority. And now he don't have fellowship. And it all happened right in the church. But God says tonight that I'm getting ready to get back my grip. Somebody say yeah. Touch your neighbor. I say touch him again. I say neighbor. Say get your grip back. Now I look and I see this man sitting in the church. And the Bible says in order to go in covenant in relationship with somebody. When you in agreement and we enter into a bind, we want to make a contract. We shake the right hand. And now he is a man who was in the church. He done lost his right hand. And now he's not in agreement with nobody. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, no wonder the church can't come together because nobody is in agreement. Show can't stand. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, say, neighbor, we gotta come together. That's why I like telling you to touch. If you can't touch, you Watch him now. Now the him wasn't the man. The him. Was 
Because Jesus, God told me to tell you, stop watching the hip. Get your eyes off the pastor. Trying to find fault in the leaders. We got too many folk pulling down the leaders. And sick folk are in the church. We got folk finding fault. Making accusations on the leaders. And sick folk are sitting in the church. Somebody shout it. Church. But God said tonight, get your grip back. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, get your grip back. Yeah. And I see him now. And he's sitting there in the church. No power, no authority, no strength, no fellowship, no covenant. And it's happening right in the church. And they are watching Jesus. But Jesus looked around and discerned their thoughts. Do I got any help in this place? And Jesus said, just because folk are hating on you, I'm not going to take you behind closed doors. I'm going to bless you in the face of your haters. I'm going to bless you right in the presence of those that said you wouldn't make it. Do I got anybody here tonight? I heard God say, now hold on, hold on, say your day is right around the corner. Say somebody and say right around the corner. Say God is getting ready to show up and show out. I wish I was somewhere else. Now in Georgia, somebody else that know they lost their grip. I can't wave my hand. I can't 